Hey, it's Nursey, Blissed RN, and I want you to solve a pediatric safe dose range problem with me using dimensional analysis. Of course, we'll be using our puzzle pieces to solve this, and let's break it down on how to solve this seemingly overly complicated type of question. The physician orders drug A, 100 milligrams by mouth every 12 hours for a patient weighing 45 pounds. You have 125 milligrams per five milliliter on hand. Recommend, recommended daily order dosage is six to eight milligrams per kilogram per day and divided doses two times a day what is the safe dosage range and is this prescribed dose safe how many milliliters per dose will you administer so first things first with pediatric safe dosage problems you are looking for the safe zone so you will not be doing anything with the order but with the safe dose range so i'll highlight the order in yellow we'll look back at that once we find what the safe zone is okay and this is asking for the safe dosage range not the daily dose so we need to see what our goal is milligrams per dose not for the whole day but for one dose so what are our puzzle pieces so we'll need a couple of things to put together First is the patient's weight, which is 45 pounds, and then we'll be doing two equations. So we'll take the lower limit first, which is going to be 6 milligrams per kilogram per day. And then since we need the amount per dose, and we have per day in the dosage range, and we need dose at the bottom, we need a puzzle piece to cross out that day. So you see it tells us that we have to give the dose in two divided doses in a day. So one day has two doses in it. Now we have all our puzzle pieces. We can start with what we're looking for. We want milligram to be on the top. So I'll start with my puzzle piece with milligrams in it. So six milligrams on the top, kg, and day go on the bottom. Now I need to cancel out my kgs because it's not part of the goal. So I have a puzzle piece with pounds in it. I don't have kilograms. So I can do a conversion from kg to pounds. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. And now my kgs will cross out and then I can put my pounds on the top. So 45 pounds and it's just by itself. It doesn't equal a day, it doesn't equal an hour. You don't have to make things equal to each other. It's just by itself. And then the last step is going to be to cancel out my day. So I have one day at the top, two doses on the bottom. Everything has now crossed out and you're left with the goal with milligrams on the top and dose on the bottom. So you multiply your numbers in the numerator, multiply your numbers in the denominator, and divide the numerator by the denominator to get 61.4 milligrams per dose. Okay, we're going to do the exact same steps with your upper limit, which is the 8 milligrams per kilogram per day. So I'll write that puzzle piece in. Everything else stays the exact same. So we'll start with our milligrams again. So we'll do 8 milligrams over kg per day. We'll cross out our kgs. So 1 kilogram is 2.2 pounds your kilograms are now crossed out and we'll put pounds 45 pounds over one and we'll cross out our pounds and the last step is to get rid of the day at the bottom so one day equals two doses and we'll do our math multiply across the top multiply across the bottom and we shall get eighty one point eight milligrams and that's per dose okay so our safe dose range has been determined to be the upper limit and the lower limit okay so we'll write our two numbers that we got from our calculations so sixty one point four to eighty one point eight milligrams per dose this is the safe zone we'll call it the green zone. So anything that falls in between those two numbers or at those two numbers is going to be 
safe. So green, anything below or more than those two numbers are the red zone. So that's not safe. Now we will take what's ordered, which is 100 milligrams, and see does that fall in the green zone where it's safe or the red zone? And clearly this is more than the allotted day or milligram dose, so it is not safe. So I'm not gonna even calculate how many milliliters to give because I'm gonna be too busy picking up the phone to call the doctor to get a new order. All right, if you enjoyed this breakdown as easy as cookies and puzzle pieces, make sure you like and subscribe. Join me on my live sessions. And as always, be blessed.